Okay, so we have an example question on the board right now. We are going to use it to test all we have learned under equation of progressive wave. So what do we have? It said a progressive wave is represented by the equation. And what is the equation? We have y equals 2.5 sine in brackets 200 pi t minus 0 0.5 pi x. Please, this is x, not t, okay? Sorry, for, sorry about that. Okay, so 0 0.5 pi x. They now said find amplitude, frequency, wavelength, and velocity. So in JAMB or maybe in WIEC or nursing exams, they can ask you one of these questions. So it's not a must that they will ask you all of them. If it is WIEC, definitely they're going to ask you for all of them in theory. Okay, but for JAMB, they can just give you the equation and then ask you to maybe find only the amplitude or only the frequency or only the wavelength or only the velocity. So we are going to see how to actually solve all of them. Okay, so first thing first, let's start with solving the words, the amplitude. Now, first thing we need to do is to establish the equation of the progressive wave that we had before. So what is the equation of the progressive wave again? Remember, y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. Why am I using minus kx now? Because according to the question, what is here is what? Minus. So I will also put minus here. Okay? Then the next thing we are going to do after establishing the equation is to compare. We are going to compare. So we compare. We compare. Okay? Now, how do we compare? You ask yourself, does this equation here have y? Does this one have Y? Yes, both of them have Y. So make sure you are paying attention. It, does this place have Y? Yes, this one also has Y. Then next thing, this one has A. Does this one have? No, this one does not have A. This one has a number in that position of A. So if the number, if the number is in the position of A, it means that that number is actually A. That is what it means. It means that that number is actually what? A. Very simple. So what does that mean here? So for the I question, I will tell them that amplitude, amplitude A is equal to what? 2.5 meters. If the units are in meters. So 2.5 meters, that is the amplitude of that uh, wave. Amplitude of that wave. So as you can see, as you can see, our amplitude here is 2.5. We don't have to solve anything. All we just had to do was to compare. We compare. Is that true? Yes, we compare. Now, oh yeah, let us look at the second question where everything will now start. Now, looking at the second question, you see that we are comparing again, okay? We are compare. We are comparing again. So if we get to the second equation, um, question where they said we should find the word frequency. Now, how do we find frequency? Now, remember, in this equation here, we know what omega is. Can you remind me what omega is? Omega is what? 2 pi f. 2 pi f. Remember, 2 pi f. That is your formula for omega. So, meaning that frequency can be found from omega. Okay? Now, when you compare this equation and this equation, there is no omega on this one. There is no omega on this one. It means that something is occupying the position of omega. So look at this equation now. You see that omega is in front of t. Omega is in front of t. So whatever is in front of t is my omega. So I go to this equation. What is in front of t? 200. Not only 200, but there's a pi there. So you, what is in front of t, you have 200 pi. That is what you have in front of T. So I can tell them that omega is equal to 200 pi. Just like A here, the position of A here is being occupied by 2.5. So we said A is equal to 2.5. That is all we are going to do here. So omega is equal to 2.5. But remember the formula for omega. Omega is 2 pi f. Remember, we said omega is 2 pi f. So 2 pi f is equal to 200 what? pi then we make f the subject f becomes 200 pi divided by 2 pi pi can cancel pi 2 here 1 2 here is 100 so the frequency is 100 hertz so the frequency of that wave is 100 what hertz so we have answered that one 
The next one is the wavelength. The wavelength. So how do we solve for the wavelength? I will go ahead and tell them that, okay, we are done with omega. Okay, we are done with omega. So look at this. Comparing again, K is here, but there is no K. X is here, there is X. So who is occupying the position of K? Who is occupying the position of K? You see that the person occupying the position of K is the number here. So I can go ahead and say K is 0 0.5 pi. But remember the formula for K. Do you remember that K is 2 pi over lambda? And that is equal to 0 0.5 pi. Then we can cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we are going to have 0 0.5 pi lambda equals 2 pi. So that when you make lambda the subject of the formula, lambda becomes 2 pi over 0 0.5 pi. Pi cancels pi. 2 divided by 0 0.5 will give us 4. We give us 4 meters. So the wavelength of the wave is 4 meters. Wavelength of the wave is 4 meters. So after finding the wavelength of the wave, what next do we need to find? The next question said we should find the velocity. And because we already know the frequency and wavelength, we can say velocity is equal to F lambda. V becomes, what did we get as our frequency? We got 100. Wavelength was 4. So when I multiply, I'm going to get 400 meters per second. That is the velocity of the wave. Now, before you get all excited, Remember that in JAMB, for example, these questions are going to come one after the other. So they are not going to ask you all these things. So you see that for us to find velocity here, we have to find frequency and wavelength. Okay? So in a situation... Want to find frequency, know that frequency is inside omega. Frequency is inside omega. So that means that if I'm asked to find frequency, I look for anywhere there's omega. And omega is anything in front of who? T. Whatever is in front of T is your omega. So I can use it to find frequency. If the jam question says I should find wavelength, I know that wavelength is contained in K. So K is equal to 2 pi over find frequency and wavelength before you find the velocity. That is where that my formula will come into play. So that my formula said that V is equal to omega over K. So all you need to do is ask yourself, what is omega? Omega is whatever is in front of K here, and that is 200 pi, 200 pi all over K is whatever is in front of X, and that is what? 0 0.5 pi. What will happen? Pi takes pi, 200 over 0 0.5 will still give you what? 400 meters per second. Assuming that was the question that we are asking you. That means to find only velocity. Okay, so that is how you can go about that.